Welcome to Online Learning Innovations. Thanks for joining me. My name is Sean Valcarcel. Today we are going to explore a couple effective ways to add content to your online course. When building your online course, have you considered what content should be in your course and how that content can or should be presented? Item A8 of the OEI Course Design Rubric addresses content presentation, more specifically, effective use of multimedia. An aligned course will meet this standard by presenting a variety of media, including text, audio, video, images, and graphics. A8 follows the Universal Design for Learning model, UDL, as a blueprint for creating content that provides multiple means of engagement, the why of learning, multiple means of representation, the what of learning, and multiple means of action and expression, the how of learning. Let's take a couple minutes to explore the what of learning. Open Educational Resources, OER, are freely available learning materials that can be copied, edited, and shared to better serve all students. OER can offer several advantages for online learning. They can be made available to students for immediate access to content without waiting for the textbook. They are free. Many OER sources update regularly to maintain relevance and currency, and instructors can have control of content and not be dependent on publishers. Let's explore examples of UDL and OER in a music appreciation course in Canvas. The page begins with introductory text and images to support the text. Additional text in this case is serving as the textbook content. An exploration section follows that features a video lesson, a live performance, and a virtual field trip. The page concludes with a critical listening section featuring audio recordings relevant to the unit. Now you may ask, where was the content obtained? What about copyright? Of course, instructors can write their own material, but several OER offer fully completed ebooks for most in demand subjects. These resources fall under a Creative Commons license. For sake of example, I searched OpenStax.org and discovered a sociology book that has lots of information relevant to this particular unit. And no, you do not have to adopt the entire textbook. According to the Creative Commons Attribution 3.0 license, I am able to not only copy the material, but I can remix, transform, and build on the material for any purpose, even commercially. Also, I am able to maintain Section 508 and WCAG 2.0 level AA accessibility by using a simple tool in copying and pasting as unformatted or plain text. In conclusion, when exploring effective ways to add content to your online course, consider OER as a viable option to build a robust experience that will benefit a diverse population of learners. Be sure to check out all the videos and resources at onlinenetworkofeducators.org. All for now, see you soon.